What's up guys? Classy Metal here with another stack of new stuff to show you guys. I've been tire tirelessly listening my way through all of this new stuff. As you see, I have stacks and stacks of stuff to go through. I have more stuff on the way. Just the way of life, but at least it keeps content coming for this channel. Uh, the stuff I've got for today is some pretty recent stuff that I've gotten in. Uh, one I just got in this week. It was actually just released this week. Uh, I kind of bought this one on a whim. I had some extra money in my PayPal account, which hardly ever happens because I'm buying stuff all the time, but I think I had a refund or something come in. So I just had some extra funds just sitting in PayPal and burning a hole in my pocket. And I saw that this uh, was up for pre-order. I haven't listened to this band in years. I think this is their third full length and the band's been around, I think about 25 years or so. I know I haven't heard them in, in quite some time, but I did enjoy everything that I've heard from them in the past. I saw that it was coming out. So without even thinking, I just kind of did that pre-order and forgot about it until the CD came in the mail the other day. And I was, this pro possibly is one of the best on a whim kind of blind purchases that I've ever done because this album is phenomenal. What I'm talking to you about today is the new release off of 20 Bucks Spin uh, by the band Cauldron Black Ram. This release is simply entitled Slaver, and this is nasty, phenomenal goodness. It's uh, it, it, it's labeled as black and death metal. Um, that's kind of a, uh, a broad, generic term that kind of gets slapped on a lot of bands. It's got traditional black metal sounds. I think it's a... Uh, steeped in, a, in traditional black metal it has that thrashy old school death metal vibe going on throughout this as well so those kind of mesh together to make just a phenomenal phenomenal soundscape on this album uh there's some doom elements at times going on with this as well it is a uh an album that's uh about pirates but it's not like the goofy disney l storm uh swashbuckle type pirates that uh you hear so many bands conveying this kind of jolly part no this is the actual what you would expect a, a real life ancient pirate to be they're uh, marauders they're bludgeoners they're violent they are evil and this album is fantastic i was blown away i think i sat down the other night and uh listened to this at least three times just back to back to back and i did not grow tired of it i just grew tired physically and went to sleep uh i've listened to it a couple more times since then i i can honestly say this is uh one of the best surprises that i've heard in quite some time you can tell these guys are well versed on their instruments they're well versed as a unit and uh, they're able to put something just flawless together Phenomenal release. Do not sleep on this one. Don't let this one pass you by. Fantastic stuff. This is a Cauldron Black Ram with Slaver. Definitely go check that out. I am, as usual, going to list everything in the description. So if you see something that you want to check out, you can definitely go do so. For that, for the Cauldron, Cauldron Black Ram and the next release that I'm going to show, I'm also going to link the Bandcamp so you can check them out for yourself. Uh, the next one is a um, 24 track uh, release from a soul project of James McCown. Um, James has been a friend of mine on Facebook. He's been a follower of the channel and uh, just a fellow appreciator of heavy music for quite some time. I saw this actually on eBay and uh, went and made a purchase. I kind of dropped the ball with this. I wish I had done an unboxing when it came in because he sent me some extra stuff with this as well. And I, when it came in, I wasn't sure what it was, and I opened it, and immediately I was like, man, I wish I had done an unboxing. Some of the stuff has already been put up, but I'm going to show. Uh, the main thing is what I ordered. It's just this, uh, it's a compilation almost of tracks that he has composed and performed um, by himself over the past seven years. It's kind of uh, cathartic death metal, uh, very blasphemous death metal, dark, dark type stuff. Uh, it's got more of that old school uh, death metal sound. There are some tracks on here that, that are very, very black metal. Uh, between the vocals and the instrumentation, they, it, there are black metal tracks. I think there's the actual disc on that. I think the fact that it is uh, songs that were spread out and created over such a long time period, uh, you kind of get a, a better sense 
of uh, especially being a solo project, you kind of you kind of get senses throughout the, enti the entirety of the 24 tracks of what he was kind of feeling at the time, what he was into, what his influences are at the time. The fact that uh, it, the tracks were created within a, a such a long time frame, also uh, with it being a one man project. It kind of it kind of gives some uh, variety to the to the album as an entirety. Doesn't grow tiresome. You don't get just a uh, copy paste same songs over and over. It's actually each song on this is its own entity. It's something I gotta respect. You have to respect, especially when you have a solo project like this. Fantastic stuff. Uh, there was one song on here. I think it's called uh, Sporadic. That is just like crunching. It's got like that uh, crunchy goodness riffing going on at the beginning. I absolutely love that. I think Consuming Maggots was another uh, favorite of mine on this as well. You get horror clips. You get uh, everything on this. Definitely check this out. I'm going to put the eBay link and the Bandcamp link on this so you can check it out. The, I got this for $5 shipped. Cannot beat that. It's definitely worth it. Uh, get, go give it a listen on Bandcamp. See what you think. If you like it, then uh, purchase one. He also sent me some extras, as I mentioned. I don't have all the stuff. I know there was like some stickers and a button and, and a, well, a pen and some other stuff in there that I don't have with me right now. But he did send this uh, Evoking Hypernagosia, I think is how you pronounce that, uh, tape. This was originally released, I think, uh, on CD format through Profound Lore. And this is the uh, tape issue from Hammerheart Records. It's just on a black cassette which is very fitting for uh evokens style of music i love this release i actually own this on cd but it's as collector scum it's always nice to have something on other formats as well so i was very appreciative of that he also sent me this uh little seven inch uh from horror pain gore death it's a, a split with the beyond and the lurking corpses I haven't really listened to a whole lot of the Lurking Corpses. I did enjoy the stuff from the Beyond that I've heard so far. I have not given the Seven Inch a spin yet. Uh, the name of this split is Gross Encounters of the Sacrificial Rite. So, pretty nasty looking stuff. There's the back on that. Uh, and I think it was just on black vinyl, if I remember correctly. No, I was wrong. I do not remember correctly. Okay, I'll show the inside of the... Uh, the artwork there kind of has like a little lyric sheet and that type stuff. It's on this kind of pink, purpley vinyl. So pretty neat looking stuff there. Definitely thank you for the extras in that, James. I really appreciate that. Next up is a release that uh, was recently, within the past month or so, released on Gore House Productions. I actually purchased my copy straight from the band. This is in guttural mint. Cephaloslectomy. Let me try that again. And guttermit cephaloslamectomy with the glam, not slam. I know I butchered it. I apologize. This is a very, very fun, brutal death metal slam release. Uh, Twenty clocks in about twenty-seven minutes for the entirety of the album. To band, you're not going to find any lyric sheets because they don't. They say they don't have lyrics. Very tongue and cheap type stuff. This is a just well performed, well executed slam. I don't get into tons and tons of slam. Something like this, I could definitely get behind because it's very fun. They uh, don't take them too. They don't take themselves too seriously under the guise that they're taking themselves super seriously. If that makes any sense. If you actually read the liner notes in this, you would kind of get a feeling of what I'm talking about. Just fun stuff. Love the artwork. Love just about everything about this release. It's it's very well performed and uh, pretty pretty fun release. Uh, they when I ordered that the uh, band also the uh, the guy behind that the main driving force behind uh, I'm just gonna call him um, e, we'll call him EC because I can't pronounce the name. The driving force behind that project is also the drummer for Visceral Throne, and I already owned a copy of this. I've already rehomed the extra copy that I had, but they also sent me a copy of this uh, this fantastic little EP. It's entitled "Those Who uh, <clears throat> Those Who Have Fallen Beyond the Grace of God." Little five track 
blistering, blistering, nice, fantastic, brutal death metal release. Um, there's a lot of suffocation inspiration going on through Visceral Throne, and that is not a bad thing. It's kind of got that early suffocation vibe. Fantastic uh, brutal death metal release there. I think I've shown this before on the channel, but just in case I hadn't, I was going to show it in this video as well. And that kind of led me to uh, the next four that I'm going to show. I decided after I got that uh, that in, I, there was a Visceral Throne seat album that I wanted that wasn't in my collection yet. So I went to Brutal Bands and happened to see that they had it on their eBay page. So I went ahead and snagged myself a copy of that. This one is called Omnipotent Asperity. Amazing release. This is my favorite uh, Visceral Throne release. It is eight tracks. Uh, feels uh, with only being three tracks longer than the EP, this just has a full album feel as opposed to that EP. It's kind of hard to explain, but I do. I, I love every bit of this. I had to change the case out because the teeth came kind of busted. So there's the inside. And like I said, this is just uh, more of that early suffocation worship, early suffocation inspired brutal death metal. Fantastic stuff. There's the actual disc on that. So, yeah, that one's uh, Visceral Throne with Omnipotent, Omnipotent, maybe, Asperity. I just, I really, my pronunciation skills are garbage today. Got a few more I'm going to show in this video. And uh, call it quits. I've got, as I said, man, I've got so much stuff to go through. It's ridiculous. Next up, we have some black metal. I actually saw this on uh, Brutal Band's eBay, and I, I was surprised to actually see some black metal on there, as the majority of the uh, selections that they have are all death metal. It still had the security strip on there. I, I'm, I'm so thankful that a lot of labels and, uh, pr and suppliers and stuff are starting to leave those off now, because I hate these little sticky things that go at the top as i said this is a uh, black metal out of nebraska out of the uh the nether region of nebraska it's about 50 minutes long over 10 tracks this is gravestorm with kings of desecration i know uh gravestorm is no longer together this may be their only full length i'm not quite sure very traditional sounding black metal uh pretty good stuff pretty decent stuff on this i, I the production's a lot better than what I was expecting for some hole in the wall Nebraska black metal, but it's just 50 minutes of cold, hateful, nasty stuff. Uh, next up, we have some wanky death metal, and I'm wearing the hat for this band. This is Anomalous with their uh, release entitled Cognitive Dissonance. I believe this one is an EP as well, uh, yeah, five tracks. It is, uh, like, as I said, it's just wanky, wanky goodness. Very technical stuff. It, it's easy to get lost in something like this. I don't listen to tons and tons of technical death metal. I don't listen to tons of gent. I, it's something that uh, nine times out of ten, I'm not going to enjoy at all. Uh, but for some reason, this band has just clicked with me. I mean, it's just, I don't know what it is about them, but it, it's very dizzying. I mean, I, you, you can almost get dizzy if you, uh, if you... <laughs> try to focus in on this too long but i don't know what it is about them they just wrote me in i love it it is wanky wanky goodness and uh i love me some anonymous so yeah this is a cognitive dissonance definitely check that one out as well uh next up we have the debut from the band uh devist or devast i was trying to complete my uh physical um collection on these this is probably the weakest of their three full lengths but it's the, the only full length that i didn't own uh, this one's entitled Art of Extermination. And uh, for a band, I, I, you don't think of uh, too many brutal death metal releases coming out of Africa. But that's exactly, I think they're from Algeria, honestly. And, I, you know, it's not bad. The production value on this one, with it being the debut, is, is a little off compared to some of their latter releases. My biggest complaint about this particular release is it just, like, abruptly stops. You're like into the last song and you're and you're into it and you're getting into it and then just boom it's over and you're like, Did, is there another? You just expect another track to be there or something, but no, it just stops. It almost feels like it stops in the middle of the track. But I I didn't dig that part of it at all. But still, it has enough goodness to keep your head rocking. 
keep your neck moving and uh, build up those neck muscles because it is, I mean, it's good for what it is. I love the uh, Brutal Bands eBay page too because I've got all of these, I think, for $4 or less. I'm going to link that up in the description as well so you guys can check that out. Got two more to show in this video and then I'm going to wrap this one up and then I may do one tomorrow. If not, I'm not sure when I'll get around to making another. It just depends on what the mailman brings me over the next few days. The next two are Relapse Records releases. I got one on Discogs and one on eBay. First one I think is a 2018 release. This is Mammoth Grinder with a Cosmic Crypt. I'm thinking it's 2018. Yeah, that's the one. This is a kind of death metal hardcore hybrid. It's not deathcore, but it's like a uh, sludgy, hardcore, death influenced. It's pretty good stuff. I mean, not the best thing I've ever heard. I did enjoy it. I remember uh, having seen it, the artwork and stuff before, and I, I wanted to check it out. I went back. I, I liked what I heard, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger and bought it. Listening to the full length, yeah, I mean, it's good. I like it. Is it something I'm going to listen to every day? Absolutely not. But it is uh, It is worthy of a spot in the collection. So there we have a Mammoth Grinder with Cosmic Crypt. Then the last one I'm going to show today, I got a steal on this because they, they sell for so much. I've been meaning to pick up a copy of this for a while now. Uh, this is uh, the newest release from Gate Creeper entitled Deserted. I love that artwork. I know it has that Brad Moore uh I mean, you, I could look at that directly and tell that that was Brad Moore artwork before I knew that he did the actual artwork for that. He also did the, uh, not the latest tomb mold, but the, the previous tomb mold that is very, very similar in artwork. I know I've heard some people at one point when this first came out try to say it was almost a tomb mold ripoff as far as the artwork. That's because the same artist did the artwork for both bands. So there you go, in case you did not know that. Good stuff. Uh, just uh, probably the most mature release from G Gate Creeper so far, in my opinion. Definitely uh, the best produced and best production at, from anything that I've heard from them. The moment that I heard this, I wanted to get my hands on it. I've just uh, been so slow to get a copy, and I'm stoked to have a, this death metal uh, masterpiece in my collection now. So that's all for today. Like I said, I'm going to link all that stuff up in the description for you. That way you can go check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think about some of these albums, uh, if, you've, if you've heard them or you have them. And uh, I'd like to hear, I like hearing your two cents on them as well. Uh, I've got some stuff on the way. I've got some stuff, international stuff that I've been waiting on forever. I'm beginning to wonder if it's ever going to show up at all. I hope it does because I had some awesome stuff coming from Spain, from Italy, from Russia. But it, at this point, it's been months. So with COVID and everything else going on, there is a good chance I may never see that stuff. There's a good chance I just don't know. It may be months from now before it comes in. I hope it does because there's some stuff I really wanted to share, share and show you guys. So uh, hopefully that'll be in soon. If you've won a, a giveaway or anything from me within the past month or so, the stuff should be on the way. So uh, just know that your stuff is mailed out and on the way. So hopefully that'll be getting to you guys soon. I know a couple of you have hit me up. And uh, for those that have the tracking, I don't have it on international, unfortunately, but the ones that had the tracking, I've, I've tried to give that to you as it's come. So that stuff should be on the way. I'm going to quit rambling and uh, wrap this up. I said, I still got these two stacks that I'm listening through right now. That'll be a video here in the near future as well. So just uh, there is content on the way. Stay classy. Stay metal. I'll see you all very soon. I promise.